Okay, I'm back once again. Didn't really go nowhere. I'm gonna I, something I just forgot to add it to my last video on uh, don't cause people to sin. You know, uh, uh, when I was asking God to give me another video, He gave me that dream on the furnaces of fire. Okay, the incinerators that's all over this. I don't know, all over this galaxy. I guess I don't know. They're everywhere though. Um, anyway, I was in a, he put me back in a dream again, and as I said in my other video, I saw what looked like, um, uh, a huge factory, and, and these factories are actually in incinerators, they, they're huge buildings that look like factories, and I got a, in, in this, I don't even like calling these dreams anymore, because it's, they're not just dreams. You know, I actually see these places. And now, uh, these incinerators that Christ warned us about, these furnaces of fire, uh, they put humans in there. Okay? They dispose of humans like garbage. Okay? And then some of these places are like big smokers or barbecue things or smokers or something but um i saw this incinerator and written on the incinerator was man man's m-a-n apostrophe s that's what was written on the incinerator you know like we you know like we have a place that cook pork or cook chicken or sell chicken or sell pork we got a chicken on on that furnace or on that box or on that something you know what i'm saying oh we got a pig on there well on these incinerators in this these worlds i would visit god would allow me to visit in dreams they had written on there man okay these furnaces of fire that jesus christ warned us about and he told us don't be an offense don't cause other people to sin don't cause scandals in the church don't cause scandals in the church, okay? Gossiping and bad mouthing people and and tempting the preacher sexually and tempting him with money and stealing money and all this kind of stuff going on in the church. And so, as I was looking at this, sorry, I'm on no allergies. As I was looking at this incinerator with man written on it, I went outside that building and I looked outside the in the yard and just like here they you know we have pallets and buckets and barrels and all this stuff sitting out in the in the in the yard out in the parking lot or whatever and i was looking at all this stuff and all this stuff was like byproducts okay the byproducts of whatever they were doing with humans and you know what i heard god said he said, this is a big business. Exploiting humanity. Okay. He said, this is a big business. That's what I heard him say. This is a big business. I looked outside the yard. When I went, I didn't go inside the, the, uh, the uh, incinerator where the factory was. But outside the yard, it's like all the byproducts of humans whether it was the bones or whatever they were getting from humans, they were outside in a yard in barrels and pack big, huge packages, like, you know, like 50 pound bags or whatever. Yeah, these incinerators are real. And uh, humans are being marketed. I wrote a book a few years back it, it was called God Still Speak Through Visions and Dreams. And this is when God revealed this to me. Back in 1990, 1992, 1993. Yeah. But he began to show me that, you know, how Satan and his angels, how they market humans. See, in their world... 
Like I said, they grow old and decrepitated and they lose their strength just like we do. But they got to keep people killing each other. Like this war that's going on. Okay? They got they they rake it in the harvest, man. They work these angels and demons and fallen angels and and aliens. They are raking in the harvest. This is the reason why a lot of times people see UFOs um, over when, when, when they have an earthquake or a tsunami or wars, people see UFOs because this harvest time, they're harvesting humans. They're harvesting humans. Humans don't always go straight to hell when they die. Okay. Some of them, they go many different places. Wherever they can sell those humans or market them, maybe not sell them, but market them, they get something for them. If you got a succubus or an incubus bothering you, Okay, somebody in their world is after you for marketing. And you think you got a girlfriend at night or a boyfriend at night. But they, to you, they're like a big fish. To you, to them, you are like a big fish, a big catch. Y'all watch my videos on the succubus and incubus? You ought to watch it. Watch them. Okay. So Jesus Christ has warned us, he's, and, and, and he's also... He's also told us that in the last days, many will be offended. Okay, many will be offended. Don't be one of the ones, because he said, woe unto them that, are, that cause the offense. Woe unto those that cause the offense. Many will be offended. You will be offended. But woe unto them who cause the offense. Woe. Are you treating your wife right? Are you treating your husband right? Hmm? Okay. Don't be an offense because the Bible said that he's going to weed out all those things and people that cause offense, cause a scandal, a scandal in the church. Okay. Cause people to stumble, cause people to sin, especially children. He's going to weed them out. He's going to cast them into incinerators. All right. But that's what I want to add to that video. On, uh, I saw this this other uh, this uh, furnace of fire and they had written on the building man's for men. And uh, when I went outside the yard, I saw all the byproducts of what they were doing uh, to humans. Okay, so don't be an offense in these last days. Okay, you don't want to get in trouble with God. If you're doing anything in the church that you shouldn't be doing, uh, stop it. Okay, stop it. All right. So my next videos, I hopefully I have something really, really. You know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about the wealth that you're going to have in the millennial reign. The wealth. Anyway, all right. That's all I want to add to. That. I want. I forgot to add that to the verse, first video. I don't know how to. I don't know how to add it, so I have to just make a this second video. Okay, and actually, that this dream here, what I'm telling you about now, is prompt me to talk about this again. All right, pray for your loved ones. Pray for your brothers and sisters, mothers, fathers, because. The thought of something like that happening to one of my loved ones, I just, I wouldn't want to bear that. Okay? Uh, but pray for them. Love them. Uh, uh, love is the answer, people. Love is the answer. God told me once, he said, the Lord told me, he said, you know what most, he said, well, you know what most people regret the most after they get to heaven? He asked me, he said, do you know what most people regret the most after they get to heaven? I said, what? He said, they regret that they did not love more. See, when you get to heaven, you're going to realize, man, if I had to love more, if I had to love people more, I could have gotten more done. I could have, more people could have been saved. Okay. So we want our loved ones saved. And... Uh, we don't want them lost. 
Amen. All right. That's all I have to say on this second video. God bless you.